We are back here on Girl Talk. I am so excited for this segment. I'd like to introduce you to Harper. Oh yes, and Harper's mom too. Karen Shea is here. Thank you so much. Greyhound Crossroads. Greyhoundcrossroads.com. Visit the website, yes. I'm really excited. You know, we were just talking. It's kind of nice to have some fun things to talk about and some good news. And this, I just was saying, this is the first Greyhound I have ever met. And they are very well behaved. They are. If you, I'd like to tell you about them. Two, two areas I talk about with Greyhound adoption. One is their physical characteristics and then their personality. And if you'll see, they're, they're very low shedders. Look at this. They're, oh, I love I know. Great. Low shuddered. And if you have any allergies, Harper. they have low dander content. Harper, would you like Harper. to turn around and, and visit with the camera here? Well, tell me about the Crossroads thing, and then let's talk about the breed in general. Okay. All right. Greyhound Crossroads, uh, it's a, a, an adoption group, and we work with all the Florida tracks and the other tracks and the other states to bring greyhounds up after they finished racing okay. so that we can place them in homes. They come up and they go into foster homes. So we work out any kinks in the foster homes. And it's a wonderful organization and they're based out of the Greenwood, Columbia area. Okay. And we have area representatives here. I'm the area representative here. <laughs> we have, we have one in Augusta, Georgia, okay. Charlotte, North Carolina, and obviously Columbia. So we work with people all over to get. How do, if I'm interested in adopting, and don't let me do it, my husband will string us both <laughs> up, but if, if I'm interested in adopting a greyhound, how do I do that? Do I contact the website? Do I call Correct. you? Correct. Okay. The first thing you would do is go to the website and apply online. Okay. Once you make your application, then they'll contact me and I will come. I would, we used to do home visits. Now we're doing virtual home visits. I love it. <laughs> Aren't we all, right? Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Harper. And then after that, we would work with you. We would figure out, you know, we talk to you about what's your home life like. Do you have cats? Do you have dogs? Do you have children? And we would work with finding the right greyhound for you. Okay. Are they, tell me about their temperaments. Because I know we were laughing about Harper because I've got you know, goats and chickens and dogs, and he's like, whatever. He is, uh, they're very chill, very laid back. They're affectionate, they're loving, they're very intelligent, and they love to be with their people. Okay. They're great. Oh, they like to be with their oh, people. Oh, they're, they're, they're known as the 45 mile per hour couch potato, and they also are known as the Velcro dog because they love <laughs> being with their people. Okay. And they're very gentle. They're, they're not barkers. You notice how he has yeah, not yapped once since we got here? They're not barkers, they're not yappers. They're just very, very chilled, laid back, and they love to sleep all day long. People think that because they raced and okay. they can go up to 45 miles per hour. Is that how fast they can run? Yes, yes, yes. That's why they race them. And people think because of that, that they are high energy and hyper. They're, they're not. They're, look at him. They're the opposite of it. They're very chilled. They're just very quiet. Very and easy. Loving and affectionate. Yeah, very easy going. How did you even get into this? I just, I've always done animal rescue of all kinds, and okay. I just happened to go to PetSmart one day and there was a greyhound meet and greet. Okay. And there were about 10 greyhounds there. I'd never met a greyhound before. You see, I, I But didn't once I did, that. it was, I devote, I said, this is my passion. I have to work to find these beautiful, wonderful, loving dogs homes because if they don't have a voice, they're down there in Florida, they're sure. down at these other tracks, they don't have a voice, so we're here <laughs> to be their voice. Look at that. That was the, that was the million dollar shot right I there. I know, Looking I know, into mom's and, eyes. And he's just, he's just a love bug. Now what's, go ahead. I was gonna say, what's interesting about them is they're purebred dogs. Okay. And they're sight hounds by breed. They can see up to a half a mile away with perfect vision. They can go up to 45 miles per hour. Each greyhound, in his ear, you'll notice, each ear has a tattoo. Okay. And that's how we identify them. One is the National Greyhound Association, the NGA identification. The other is his birth date and birth order in the other ear. Birth date and birth order? Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. So that, that makes them. You're so pretty. I can't get over it. What about coloring? Do they, I guess I always think of greyhounds as gray. No, Sorry. everybody thinks that, yes. But no, they come in all kinds of colors and patterns. Do they really? Brindle, we have like white, we have black, we have tan, we have red, we have fawn, black and white, we call those cowgirls. Okay, cowgirls. Um, all kinds no, of No, wait, colors. you have Harper, what's your other dog? I have, the other one is Vivienne. Vivienne. Yeah, Vivienne, oh, yes. yes. And she's a blue, which okay. is like what you would say is a charcoal gray. She's okay. a blue. And what about size-wise? I didn't realize they were so big. The males are typically 72, 75 pounds, 80 sometimes. Okay. They, go up, they can even go up 
higher than that. Right. The, the females are around 60 pounds when you get them. The racing weight is around 60, 62 to 65. So they're, they're more petite okay. than the males. Are they high maintenance dogs? No. Not at all. <laughs> Listen, I had two greyhounds and three cats one time, and the cats were 20 times <laughs> more work than the dogs. They th because look at this, low shedding, it's wonderful. I mean, there's there's really there's really no maintenance. Their average lifespan is 12 to 14 years. They do not have hip problems. 12 even. to 14 years, mm -hmm. which is really old for a big dog. It like is. This. They don't end up having hip problems. Okay. Uh, the one thing that they do in their genetics is osteosarcoma, they, you know, okay. which is cancer of the bones. Yep. That's more prevalent than anything else. It doesn't mean that that's what they'll die of, but... Well, it was really funny because we were talking about should we, should we have Harper sit, you know, late at whatever, and you were talking, it was really interesting about the sitting is not a natural position for them. No, it's not. The musculoskeletal system of a greyhound is such that that's harder on their body. So I had two certified therapy dogs once, and all the all the therapy dog organizations require greyhounds. They're the only ones that are that are exempt. The dog, the greyhound, um, they have to go down on all fours, but they are not required to sit. They only breed that does not require to sit. How many um, greyhounds do you guys typically place? I guess I, it varies. Okay. It varies. Locally here, we can place up to maybe twenty a year, twenty five maybe. Really? It just depends on on the year. Is but. it a breed that once you get you have one, you do fall because you said addiction. You, it's called no. addiction. Oh. It's called greyhound addiction. We like to call it in psychology dependence now. Yes, it that would shifted. be it. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I am I, I am passionate, so passionate about this. I just love this breed. I love these dogs. Um, they're just incredible pets. They make and they're great with children. Are they? And typically small dogs and cats. Mm -hmm. Like Harper lived with three cats. Okay. Um, it just depends. Now some of them have stronger prey drives, and they will not be okay. adaptable with cats. But right. we we check that out. We we they're in foster homes, so we figure that out in advance. Is there a kind of home that you need? Do you need lots of space, or are no? Because you said couch potato. No. As a matter of fact, we have had greyhounds go to third floor apartments. Okay. <laughs> oh, one have person. Her? Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Um, we they don't know stairs. What's interesting about them is they've never been in a home. You have to keep this in mind too. These dogs are athletes, so when they come to you, they're learning how to be a dog, just a dog. Oh. And so they've never known steps. They don't know what ceiling fans are. It's it's as if they would take you and put you in Russia. You don't know the language. You don't, you don't know, the, know the geography. Yes. You don't know anything. And so you're teaching them how to just be a dog, and they're learning what music is, you know, what, what TV is. Exactly. Yeah. We had one greyhound who was actually starting to get addicted to Game of Thrones. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Well, you know, they're dock building over here, mm -hmm. and he doesn't, he's kind of curious, but he doesn't seem to really mind the noise or no, the... No, no. That's a good point, and I want to bring that up. They're not great guard dogs. Okay. <laughs> they're really not. They take their They're retirement. not great guard dogs, or they are guard dogs. Uh, <laughs> Yeah. Well, let's just say on a scale of one to ten, with ten being really good, they might be a minus one. Okay. <laughs> uh, they prefer sleeping. They're they're like they used to like big cats. They'll sleep all day if you let them. They're they just and all they need is exercise, like a regular walk. Okay. But they take retirement very seriously. At what age do they typically come up for adoption? That's a great question too. It all depends on when they stop making money when they are no longer working. You know, okay, they when, they are go, when they go into retirement, When they've varies. decided, it's, yeah, for okay. some reason now, it could be an injury or it could just be they don't want to do it anymore and they're okay. not doing it. Okay. And that's when they come to us. And typically that's two to three years old. Harper was an exception. He raced 170 races. He, I got him when he was four years old. How so old is he now? He is go, he's going to be nine years old in August. Golly. Looking good, huh? Looking beautiful. Looking good. <laughs> I tell you, it's it's really a treat. I'm so excited to meet you from Thank one you. animal lover to another. Thank you, and I'm happy to meet you too. Well, I think animal lovers are kind people. They're a little quirky, but they're kind, don't you <laughs> yes, think? Yes, I agree. I mean, I we agree. have our passions. I, and I really appreciate this opportunity to be able to 
talk to people or share this breed with people because they're down there looking for homes and we don't have them in local shelters, they're in foster homes. So I appreciate this opportunity well, to Well, you know, and in this, this time, I think we're outside more. We're looking for something in our home to give us some solace and there's nothing better than a therapy animal. I could not and agree with it, you more. They can take your mood and that's down here and just a hug and a look in the eye and it goes up. So I'm really excited. I agree. Thank you for joining thank you us. Thank you for this opportunity. Harper, thank you so much for joining us. He's like, <laughs> what? She's like, whatever. Thank you all for joining us here on Girl Talk. Have a great and safe week. Social distance.